the only real solution to the 6.4 in my eyes uh, is because of the, the additional heat that's in, injected in this engine because of the emissions control is to, uh, is to retune the engine on uh, an exhaust system, what they call a DPF delete, and uh, retuning this engine so that it basically doesn't use the uh, emissions control systems anymore uh, will instantly give you a, a 30 to 40 percent increase in power at the very low settings in, in aftermarket tuning. Uh, there's some tuners out there, I guess uh, Spartan Diesel makes a system that you can basically double the horsepower of this engine and double the torque output. Uh, it's just incredible what these guys are doing. And at the same time, by shutting off all these systems, the engine runs much more efficiently. It runs cooler and more efficiently. Two extremely good things. Uh, uh, and as a result of that, we don't have the heat getting into the engine. The engine will last longer, uh, and uh, you're going to get your fuel economy is going to jump up from 9 or 10 miles a gallon to approaching 20 like our, our brothers over here. You know, I guess there's a moral question and there's a legal question here about whether you should or you shouldn't uh, modify your truck. It's your truck. You do what you want with it. As far as I'm concerned, this is still America. You can make choices. I guess you could be pulled over by somebody and have them harass you and give you a ticket. Uh, if you live in California, of course, uh, they're going to check your truck every year uh, or in other states. I think uh, Colorado and then I've heard Nashville, Tennessee and certain places have emissions control in place on the trucks. But uh, and you'll have to deal with that if you choose to make those modifi modifications to your truck. But the fact is, is that the modifications are there to basically shut off the emissions controls and eliminate the, uh, eliminate the, uh, the DPF and the, and the exhaust and make the, truck, make the engine run more efficiently. This engine right here will run circles just with tuning and exhaust, run circles around any other high performance diesel engine I've ever seen. They're the, the, some of these guys with the, the 6.4s are showing up to tractor poles and these beautiful brand new trucks and just shaming the Dodge guys with them. I mean, sending them home and, you know, they're crying in their beer over what kind of power these engines are making. So I, I love the engine. I love the 6.4. I think it's a fantastic design. I think it's the, the culmination of many, many years of, uh, of design and, and, uh, and experience are tied up in this engine. The fact of the matter is, is that with some tuning, this engine here will run, outrun anything on the road. It will outpull and it will be very, very dependable. Keeping the heat out of the engine is the key. As with all engines, the metals start coming apart, your, your materials start breaking down under high heat situations. You eliminate that heat and you've got a good dependable engine that will last for a very long time. Okay, this particular engine is a 192,000 mile engine that never saw an easy day in its life. It ran in a, in a local tow truck that they just absolutely run the pee out of it. It's idled all the time. It had uh, a lot of hard use and the emissions control was never altered or touched or anything on this truck. So uh, in a future installment of, of Power Stroke Help TV here, we're going to take this engine apart and we're going to find out what failed in it. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of oil coming out of the turbo back here. My thing is, is that I like to find a point of failure in all engines. That's what I really enjoy because when you find what broke or what failed and why, then you're able to make modifications to make it better. So. Stay tuned, you know, pay attention, uh, check back on the site here. We're going to have this up soon so I can take this apart and, and show you what really goes on inside this engine.